Hello everyone, it's Dinkledork here, and today I wanted to go over spell charges, which essentially creates multiple cooldowns for the same spell. Now this particular script is something anyone can do if they compile their own server. You could do something similarly through Iluna, but you'd have to make it a player script instead. The script I'll be showing you today is actually in C++, and I will share the GitHub repo in the video description at the end. So what do I mean by spell charges? Well, in Retail WoW, there are these spells that have charges. So Divine Steed has one charge by default, but if you talent into it, you can use it twice, and it has two separate cooldowns. This is somewhat similar to that. It's a little bit different in the sense that you're not going to see the spells stacked on top of each other, but this method is a lot more simple than having to create new aura effects or spell effects to create a second charge, and you can use this method on pretty much any spell you want. Let me show you exactly what it does. So Divine Steed, leap atop your charger for four seconds, increase your movement speed by 100%, and Divine Steed can be called twice before triggering a cooldown period, after which the spell becomes inactive for 35 seconds. So like I said, it's a little bit different, but this is a close approximation to what you would find in retail, more or less. So this is what it looks like. You click Divine Steed, you can use it, click it again, you can use it, and then can't use it after that. Like I say, due to client limitations and other factors, you're not actually going to see the cooldown on the spell itself, but you can actually indicate that the spell is on cooldown by using an exhaustion effect. This is just a dummy aura, but we'll get into that. So in order to do this, you actually need three spells. You need the first spell, right? Whatever spell effect it is that you want. This spell should have no cooldown whatsoever because we're going to be manually applying the cooldown to it via the C++ script. The second spell is a hidden spell that does have a cooldown, and that is the cooldown that you actually want the spell to have. So this spell right here is the Divine Steed Charge spell. All it is is a spell with a recovery time of 35 seconds. There's no spell visual, and it's just a dummy. You could cast it on, you could you could set the target to be the caster if you want, it really doesn't matter. But um, the big thing really is just setting up a spell that doesn't do anything, and the recovery time to be whatever you want. And then the third spell is entirely optional, but it's a nice way to show people when the cooldown is back up. And this is basically the spell that gets cast when you can no longer cast the spell again. The recovery time doesn't really matter on this one so much but the duration should be the duration of the recovery time on your second spell, the Hidden Aura. You want to make sure to set flags to negative, unaffected by invulnerability, can't be canceled, ignore owner's death, persist through death, all that fun stuff, right? And then we're basically going to create a simple script. So we have our includes at the top, and then we just basically start with our script. We're handling the on-cast. This is optional. It doesn't really matter if it's a player or not. You could actually take this part out of the script, but it's this, this script just essentially makes sure that the caster is a player. If it's not a player, it doesn't apply. And then this part here basically checks if the hidden spell is not on cooldown. And if it is not on cooldown, it casts the spell. You want to make sure that this is set to false. If it's set to true, it will not incur the cooldown for the hidden spell. And then this part here, if the hidden spell is on cooldown, apply the cooldown to Divine Steed, representing the second charge being used. This right here just tells the script to add the spell cooldown to the Divine Steed spell, which is 35 seconds in milliseconds. And here's where we also cast our exhaustion spell. And remember, the exhaustion spell is just there to indicate, hey, you have X amount of time until the spell is available. So it's just a simple spell effect. Apply Aura, spell Aura dummy, target unit caster. We have our register spell script function and we have this here too. So if you haven't done custom scripts before, basically it is in the source folder, server, scripts, and custom. You'll want to create a new folder 
just so you can have things more organized. My folders are a complete mess right now, but I went ahead and put this script in the Paladin script, named it Divine Steed, and I put it here. And then what you want to do is you want to take this portion here and copy it, go back into the custom folder, find the custom script loader here at the bottom, and you're going to add that here with a semicolon and a void in front. And then you're going to add it here at the second section as well without the void in front. After that, you just right click, clean, rebuild, go through that all over again. And then you go over to spell script names. You look for the spell ID where you want to apply it. In this case, it's 1. 00130 and you want to take the name of the spell script copy it create a new row put it in the script name column and put your spell ID there once you're done recompiling the server you just start it up as normal and you test it out and that's pretty much it that's how you do a quick and dirty spell in Wrath of the Lich King with uh, spell charges. This script could essentially be used for any other spell in the game. All you have to do is change the name of the script in these three areas, sorry, four areas. You could change the name of this, and then you would add the dummy spell, which is the hidden spell, right? And here is where you add the exhaustion spell. Like I said, I'll be leaving that in the description. Again, if you have any experience with Iluna, you could write this as a Lua script. If you have ChatGPT, you could copy this script, paste it into ChatGPT, and ask it to convert it to Iluna for you, and it'll do that for you. Just tell it to make it a player script, essentially. That's it for now. Hope you guys liked the video. Leave a like if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you guys on the other side of Azeroth.